Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. Let us solve today's DC using Python programming language. The program must accept an integer n and n integers and print s if the n integers represent a binary growing sequence, else the program must print no. Now let us consider for our test case for better understanding. So in this test case n is equal to 4 and we are having 4 integers here. First uh, let us write the binary representation of each integer. For 1 it is 1. For 5 it is 101, for 7 it is 111 and for 23 it is 10111. So now we have to check whether these n integers represent a binary growing sequence. So binary growing sequence is nothing but you have to check the position. So for the integer 1 the binary representation is 1 and it is present at the last so we have to compare for phi whether one is present at the last so we can see that for phi 101 so one is present at the last so one and phi are in binary growing sequence so let us copy and paste for 1 the last binary digit is 1 and for 5 the last binary digit is also 1. So both the integers are in binary growing sequence. So now let us consider for next integer 7 triple 1. So in the 5 we can see that 1 is present at the first position and the last position. So in the 7, we can also see that 1 is present at the first and last. So, these two are also in binary growing sequence. And in the 7, we can see that 1 is present at the last 3 positions of the binary. So, now let us compare 7 with 23. So, the binary representation of 23 is 1, 0, triple 1. So in the 23 also we can see that triple 1 is present at the last. So last 3 should be 1. So in the 23 also last 3 values is 1. So they both are also in binary growing sequence. So finally for this test case the program have to print yes as our output. So yes will be printed as our output now let us consider for our next test case so in this test case n is equal to 4 and we are having 4 integers so let us write the binary representation of each integer for 4 the binary representation is 100 for 12 the binary representation is 1100 and for 57 the binary representation is triple one double zero one and for 185 the binary representation is one zero triple one double zero one now we have to check whether each integers are in binary growing sequence for 4 the one is present in the first and for 12 also the one is present at the first so these both integer are in binary growing sequence now let us check for the next integer that is 57. And in the 12 we can see that two ones are present at the starting. So in the 57 also we have to check whether there are two ones at the starting. So the binary representation of 51 is triple one double zero double zero one. So the binary representation of 57 so we can see that in the 12 the first two digits of the binary are having double one 
So in the 57 also, the first two are ones. So 12 and 57 are in binary growing sequence. Now let us consider the next integer that is 185. The binary representation is 10111101. So in the 57, we can see that the first three digits are having one and the last digit is having one. So in the 185, we can see that the last digit is having one. The first digit is also having one, but the second digit is zero. So this is not in a binary growing sequence. The third digit is one. So as the second digit is zero, they are not in binary growing sequence. So no will be printed as our output for this test case. Now let us implement our logic in Python. So first let us get the integer n as input from the user and input list as list of input. Now let us iterate over the for loop and pass our condition for CTR which ranges from 1 to n. So CTR which ranges from 1 to n. Now let us pass our condition here. If int list of CTR and int list of CTR minus 1 not equal to int list of CTR minus 1. So if these both are not equal means we have to print no as our output. So print no and in the else part we will be having print yes. Print no break and in the else part we will be having print yes. So this if condition is nothing but int list of CTR and int list of CTR minus 1 which is not equal to int list of CTR minus 1 means we have to print no. So let us consider uh, 4 and 5. So the binary representation of 4 is 100 and the binary representation of 5 is 101. So we can see that both are in binary growing sequence. So 4 and 5 gives 4 that is 100. So 4. So 4 and 5 gives 4. So that is the condition. So we can also have for better understanding let us consider this test case 1, 5, 7 and 23. So let us consider 5 and 7 here. So the binary representation of 5 is 101 and for 7 the binary representation of 7 is 111. So 5 and 7 gives 101. So 5 and 7 gives 101 which is equal to 5. So that is our condition. If this condition does not satisfy means we will be printing no else we will be printing yes as our output. So 5 and 7 is 5. So that is the condition here. So we will be printing no. In the else part we will be printing yes. This will be the required code for today's DC.